Hi there, once again on Google Cloud, right here. I just created a pop sub topic. Right, right there, I'm gonna say everything I created. So create an app engine, a bucket, some <clears throat> compile the code, it's under of the spawn XML, some, sorry. So I run it, Maven command, so I create a pop sub topic and a spanner database and table. Right here you can see the topic. And right now we are going to create a cluster. Standard. It's going to give you the name. Once that appears, once that appears, okay, fine. It's only gonna leave into S Central One B. Okay, fine. Let's define node pools and security. Yeah, I want to allow this. Let's click on create because it's gonna take a couple of minutes. Takes a couple of minutes. Let's click on refresh. <clears throat> Let's refresh back again. Refresh, <clears throat> it's around five minutes or even less.
Hey, let's connect over it. Connect. There's a Q running cloud shell, is the same. So here you can execute Kubernetes commands like kubectl get pods. Should be faster. Okay, right now we are going to deploy and change some Docker files. Let's compile this, this app engine stuff is gonna get this jar here and run the jar. Fine. And also we have the backend Docker file. Does more or less the same. Now we're gonna run gcloud build submit gcr.io google container registry Dev shell project DD gets the project quiz front end, so it's going to upload this. It's going to run all the steps and it's going to push. Let's go to the soft link, I call it. And let's run the backend. Let's go to container registry. Front end again, first gonna have the bump back end, so three to four steps completely done. Okay, great. Have those images there as expected. Now let me just check one thing. I'm gonna have to to change some YAML files. Project TD. Also, let's do an echo. Bucket. I don't think I have a var call it. No, I don't. So right here I have to change some files. Front end deployment. The editor here is not such so lovely. So the bucket, gcloud project first, gcloud project. The bucket, same as the project TD within front end image identifier. And get from here. Break case is the ID of the image. If you want to use this image, you're gonna use this way. GCR.io project TD.
quiz front end and let's change also the back end Same stuff. Case okay, so here, you're gonna use the image GCR project TD. We are on the same project. Bucket. Bucket is the same dash media to change all of this and now let me double check the front end starts yaml load balancer fine let's apply a deployment let's get into workloads I'm going to create also a backend deployment and I'm going to apply the services. So, service and ingress screen going to have an APU and fill. Once everything is green, Okay, let's see the service. There is no external IP address. Have the front end, so we're going to redirect for that. So basically how simple it is, you create a Docker image. Here we go to the quiz application, fine. Here you have the Docker image. So, so we are, we're going to be using some data store. There are some entities. Which I load for, for this lab. Create on the fly right here on the prepare. Create some entities. So this is a is, a, is the other sorry is the other script. By the way, here we just create a cluster. We create the Docker image. Push the Docker image to the container registry. So it's kind of a Docker hub, and we deploy it and we run put that deploy that inside the cluster. That's all. I'd like to share. Thanks for watching, see you next video.